Hello, I'm David Hughes. Welcome to Your Perfect Body, the podcast of the esoteric teaching community. Today's selection is an essay entitled, Who is God? In the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita, after Arjuna finishes presenting why he thinks that he should not fight, Krishna begins to speak. Shri Bhagavan Uvacha Asochyan Anvasochastvam Pragnyavadangs Chabhasase Gatasun Agatasungscha Nanusochanti Pandita The Supreme Personality of Godhead said, While speaking learned words, you are mourning for what is not worthy of grief. Those who are wise lament neither for the living nor for the dead. Bhagavad Gita 2.11 This is the beginning of Krishna's statements in Bhagavad Gita, as recorded by Vyasadeva. Vyasadeva is not exactly the author of Bhagavad Gita. He is the compiler who recorded the talks between Krishna and Arjuna systematically in book form. So he prefaces Krishna's words with Sri Bhagavan Uvacha. Bhagavan means the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Just like in any meeting, the chairman or lecturer is the Supreme Person. Similarly, in the state assembly there is a Supreme Person, the President or the Prime Minister. So in every group or organization you will find there is one Supreme Person. Without a supreme person, nothing can be managed. If there is no one to give orders or make final determinations, any organization gradually collapses. This is a universal principle, a law of every organization, and you cannot avoid it. Even in communist countries, they have a supreme person, a premier or dictator. So, considering the whole universe, nature, and how systematically things are going on, there has to be a Supreme Personality of Godhead to manage everything so perfectly. The sun is rising early in the morning and setting exactly on time. The moon is going through its phases. Every planet and moon in the gigantic planetary system is orbiting perfectly, very systematically. The timing of heavenly bodies is so perfect that time can be calculated to a ten thousandth of a second from their motion. So, in the esoteric teaching, it is said, Yachakshuresha Savita Sakalagrahanam Raja Samasta Suramurti Rashesha Teja Yasya Gnaya Brahmati Samrita Kala Chakro Govinda Mari Purusham Tamaham Bhajami. The sun, who is the king of all the planets, full of infinite effulgence, the image of the good soul is as the eye of this world. I adore the primeval Lord Govinda, in pursuance of whose order the sun performs his journey, mounting the wheel of time. Brahma Sanghita 552 The sun is like the eye of all the planets. We have eyes, but unless there is sunlight, what is the value of our eyes? We cannot see in the dark. We are very proud of our eyes, and we want to see everything. But the value of our eyes is dependent upon the sun. Unless there is sunshine, we cannot see. Still, we are very proud of our vision. This is called illusion. Actually, we have no power. We require certain very specific conditions, otherwise we cannot do anything. Prakrite kriyamanani gunai karmani sarvashaha ahankara vimudhatma kartaham itimanyate. The bewildered spirit soul, under the influence of the three modes of material nature, thinks himself to be the doer of activities, which are, in actuality, carried out by nature. Bhagavad Gita 327. Prakriti, material nature, puts us in certain conditions, and we work accordingly. We do not work independently, although we may think we do, 
due to our lack of understanding. Prakriti, material nature, completely controls us. But Prakriti is also working under somebody's control. Just like when you drive down the street and you see a traffic light, as soon as the light turns red, you have to stop. You cannot drive independently. You have to follow the signals. This traffic light is controlled by the police, and the police are controlled by the government. Similarly, this whole material nature is acting like a traffic light. And behind that nature, there is the intelligence of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. A child cannot understand how the traffic light is working. He thinks it is happening automatically. But that is foolishness, ignorance. Actually, there is a controller behind the traffic light. But the child does not know. So intelligence means to understand that the actions of material nature, which apparently happen automatically, are actually regulated by a controller. If anyone thinks that the traffic light is working independently or automatically when there is no intelligence behind it, he's a fool, he's ignorant. Similarly, the whole material cosmic manifestation is working under the intelligence of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Even the powerful sun planet is working under his direction. Yet chakshureva savita sakala grahanam Without sunrise, nobody can see, not only on this planet, but on other planets also, Sakala Grahana. So this powerful planet, the sun, is described in the Vedic literature as the eyes of everyone in the universe, because without sunshine, nobody can see. Yet Chakshureva Savita Sakala Grahana Raja. He is to be considered the king of all planets, Sakala Grahana Raja. All other planets are moving and rotating, but their magnetic and atmospheric systems are working on the energy of the sun. So the sun planet is very important, but even the sun is not independent. Day and night, for millions of years, every motion of the solar system is being calculated and controlled by higher intelligence. Yasyagnyaya Brahmati Sambhritakala Chakra the sun is orbiting around the center of the galaxy at 16,000 miles per second by the order of someone even more powerful. That is Govinda. Yasyagnyaya Brahmati Samrita Kala Chakro Govindam Adi Purusham Tamahang Bajami. I adore the primeval Govinda, in pursuance of whose order the sun performs his journey, mounting the wheel of time. Brahma Samhita 552. This is transcendental knowledge, knowledge that describes everything in terms of its relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In the shloka under discussion, the Supreme Person is called Bhagavan, Sri Bhagavan Uvacha. Bhaga means opulence, and Krishna has six kinds of opulence. He is the richest, the most powerful, the wisest, the most beautiful, the wealthiest, and the most renounced, all at the same time. For example, this whole cosmic manifestation is created by the will of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Therefore, everything belongs to Him. But you will not find Him here. He is disinterested, renounced. Many millions of universes are working by His will, and He is the original cause of all of them. But He is not interested in them. The example is that He is like a big capitalist. The capitalist may own many factories, but if you go to the factory, like a Ford plant, you will find a huge industry with lots of activity going on, but Mr. Ford is not there. Everything's going on, but the real cause, Mr. Ford, is not visible in his factory. Similarly, the whole cosmic manifestation operating under the will of Krishna is going on like clockwork, but he is not present here. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Maya tatam midam sarvam jagaravyakta murtina matstani sarva bhutani nachahum teshvabastitaha. By me, in my unmanifested form, this entire universe is pervaded. All beings are in me, but I am not in them. Bhagavad Gita 9 4. Matstani sarva bhutani. Everything is resting on me. In any factory, 
Every worker knows that the whole business is controlled by one supreme person, the owner. But he is not visible in the factory. He is relaxing comfortably at home, managing everything through his agents. Similarly, Matstani Sarvabhutani means, everything is resting on me. But, 